Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers working with time zones in Rails. Our viewer is struggling with how to properly handle date and time inputs in their application, particularly when it comes to storing them in the database. Let's break down the issue together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's address the time zone issue in your Rails application. First, we need to understand the configuration settings you've provided. Your application is set to use Amsterdam's time zone, but Active Record is storing timestamps in UTC. This can lead to discrepancies when you combine date and time inputs. In your form, you're using a date picker and a time dropdown. When you concatenate these, ensure that the resulting date time respects the configured time zone. In your model's callback, when creating the timestamp, you should convert the time to the correct time zone before saving it to the database. Finally, ensure that your application correctly handles daylight saving time. By using Active Support's time zone methods, you can automatically adjust for these changes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle time zones in Rails, keep everything in UTC and adjust after submission. When a form is submitted, the date time object is interpreted as UTC, so conversions should happen post-submission. In your model, create a method to set the proper date time. First, create the date time object by combining the day and time. Then, specify the time zone you want to interpret. Next, find the UTC offset for your specified time zone, considering daylight savings. Finally, adjust the date time by subtracting the offset to save it correctly in UTC. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Rails, timestamps are stored in UTC by default, which helps avoid issues when switching server environments. To get the local time, simply use the local time method on the timestamp. Ruby does not consider Rails time zone settings. If your system is set to one time zone, but your app is set to another, Ruby will stick to the system's time zone. It's best to keep the app-wide time zone as UTC and let users set their own. To implement user-specific time zones, add a time zone attribute to the user model and get the time zone from the form. Use a round action in the application controller to set the user's preferred time zone during requests. Use time.zone methods for getting the current time and parsing timestamps. Avoid using time.now or date.today. Instead, use time.current and date.current for accurate results.
for more details on working with time zones and rails, check out the blog post linked in the description. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. In Rails, the two date time method uses your system's time zone, which can lead to confusion with time zones. For example, when you convert a date and time, it may store it in UTC and later adjust it for display in a different time zone, like Amsterdam. To avoid this issue, you can skip the to date time conversion. Instead, you can directly add the seconds since midnight to the day. If the day is a string, use timeatzone.parse to handle it correctly. For more insights on handling time zone issues in Rails, check out a helpful article linked in the description. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.